Hey guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. So by default, Apple will automatically dim the screen of your iPhone, iPad and Mac based on the light conditions around you. It does this not only to preserve battery life, but also to reduce the glare on your eyes that can occur when, for example, you're looking at the screen in the dark. If you find this auto brightness feature annoying, you can disable it by opening settings, tapping on accessibility, followed by display and text size. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and disable auto brightness. On Mac, you'll find the option in system settings under brightness. Having disabled the option, you can now adjust the brightness manually. On iPhone and iPad, you can do this in Control Center by swiping down from the top right of your screen. If you already had auto brightness disabled, but your screen continues to dim, especially at night, it's likely you have the night shift feature enabled. You can turn it off by again going to settings, this time tapping on display and brightness, followed by night shift and disabling the schedule. On Mac, this option is also in the display settings. While you're disabling all of these features, you might want to also disable True Tone, which changes the color of your screen depending on your surroundings, making it appear more yellow or warm at night and cooler during the day. Disabling True Tone will keep the contrast constant regardless of any changes in the ambient light. If you have disabled all of these settings, but your screen continues to dim automatically without you adjusting it, then it's probably because it's overheating. According to Apple, the operating system will reduce the brightness of your screen when the device overheats, regardless of what settings you have enabled or disabled. So that is how to prevent your screen from dimming on iPhone, iPad and Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might be interested in finding out the fastest way to charge an iPhone and how to find your Apple Watch using your phone and vice versa. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.